Hi everyone. Today's topic is the high pass RL network. Still now we have seen the RC circuit or RC network in that we are having the resistor and capacitor components. Today we are going to study about the high pass RL network. The high pass RL network is nothing but in this circuit we will have only the resistor and inductor as shown in the figure you can see here. It is called as a high pass because it is used to allow all the high frequencies and attenuates the low frequency signals. Okay, for example, if we give the low frequency signal, the reactance of the inductor will also zero, then the inductor will act as a short circuit, so the no input voltage will appear across the output. When the high frequency signals are applied, then the inductance of the the inductance of this inductor will be infinity and it will act as open circuit, all the input voltage will be appeared across output. From this, we can know that this is a high pass RL network because it is used to allow the whole high frequency signals and it unites the low frequency signals. That is why it is called as a high pass network. So in order to find out the transfer function, so in order to find out the transfer function, first we have to apply KVL to the KVL to input side and output side. Write the equations of input and output side. Okay input and output side so when we apply kvl then the v input of t equal to the v input of t the current will flow here i of t then we will have r into i of t plus l into di by dt make it as equation one similarly the v out of t the v out of t equal to l into di by dt because from the circuit we know that output is collecting across the inductor so it is represented as l into di by dt and make it as equation 2 so in order to find out the transfer function the transfer function is nothing but v out of s by v input of s which is in s domain but here it is in the t domain now we have to convert by applying laplace we have to convert into s domain now take laplace transform take Laplace transform for equation 1 and 2 we will get as V input of S equal to R into I of S plus L into S into I of S ok here I of S is common we can also write it as R plus L S this is V input of S. Okay. Similarly, the output, the V out of S, when we apply the Laplace to this output time domain equation, it will represent it as LS into I of S. Okay. So now the transfer function or the gain, the transfer function or the gain is represented as H of S equal to v out of s by v input of s substitute equation 3 and equation 4 in this formula then we will get like this h of s equal to l s into i of s by i of s into r plus l s the i of s and i of s get cancelled then it is represented as l s by r plus l s h of s equal to ok so now the by taking this common we can write it as l s by r into 1 plus l by r into s ok and h of s equal to now take this see here l s by r into 1 plus l by r into s now take this r to the numerator it is nothing but denominator here see how it will be represented l by r into s by 1 plus l by r into s ok here what is the time constant l by r so then h of s is represented as s tau by 1 plus s tau here tau is nothing but time constant it is tau equal to l by r for high pass rl network the tau is l by r this is the transfer function for high pass rl network okay all of you understand thank you